Hi folks, it's Kevin Portis here. Uh, I just came down for a cast at my local Stillwater to find it's absolutely frozen over. So I thought I'd just take a wee second out to have a look at the new filling mill Stillwater range for 2019. In my humble opinion, I think filling mill have done a cracking job with this new Stillwater range and I'll have a little look and sort of give you my opinion why they've made such a good job of this. To make a good pattern, uh, you're going to need a several ingredients. Uh, I think there's four main ingredients, so let's just have a quick look at each one of those. Ingredient number one would be the actual materials that are going into the pattern. Now, for the 2019 ongoing, Full and Mill have decided to use FNF products for uh, all their still water patterns. So you're getting the FNF jellies, the jelly tains, the block jellies, these sorts of materials. And the benefits of those are you're going to get more movement in your patterns, uh, there's thinner fibres, uh, they're um, expertly dyed to, to work in colours, uh, there's more cut ends, there's more cut edges that will fluoresce light. Uh, when you stop the pattern the fibres are designed to flare out, when you pull the pattern again they'll close ranks which gives you all this sort of movement. So uh, that's a really big step forward for their patterns. Another thing that Phil and Mel have noticed I've done, and uh, I've just got a range of them here, so I don't have them all, it's just, just a sort of small range of what they do. But another thing I've noticed is uh, the hooks, they have really got their hooks bang on as well. It isn't a case of one hook does all, um, they've been specific in what hook is best matched to what pattern. And the hooks are razor sharp, well, it's what you'd expect from Phil and Mel really. Um, they're strong, they're not meat hooks that are going to sink through the, the water film too quickly, they're, uh, they're nicely balanced, they're nicely weighted, uh, they're razor sharp, they're strong as anything and they, they won't let you down. Uh, if you do damage a hook, very often it's when you're unhooking fish and nets and stuff and it gets caught in the net, that's, that's often when a hook will actually get damaged, not actually when you're playing the fish. Another ingredient that goes into the pie for me is the guys who design these. Now, I know Phil and Mill have worked uh, long and hard with Rob Edmonds, um, Kieran Jenkins, for example. Now these guys are top, top competition anglers. Uh, I know I've competed against them a lot. And what you tend to see is these guys' thoughts, ideas, patterns going into the fill and mill range. Um, I don't know if you can sort of see even like so these fibers that are coming over the top of this black and green this black and green booby, uh, the silver fibre. I mean, that's Kieran Jenkins' work. That's what he does, like, you know. I've, I've seen his patterns. Um, I've seen them on the boat, you know, sort of thing. So I know what he does. Um, there's other little hints and, and things like, uh, last year at uh, Blagden, uh, I was competing against Rob Edmonds, and he was fishing a small uh, booby fab-style fly. And it was just basically a blob of the booby eyes, but it had a little foam tail as well. And they tied it really quite skinny like these little guys here so i'm just sort of seeing you know stuff that these guys have, have tried and tested and won competitions with going into these patterns which can only be good uh, the fourth ingredient uh, what i think is the actual people who tie these now it's no great secret that phil and miller are getting these patterns tied in kenya but i tell you what they're on their a-game um, <sighs> It used to be a thing of the past, you know, that these uh, patterns coming from foreign shores weren't exactly very good, to be honest. But I think in recent years, uh, these commercially tied patterns are really coming on in leaps and bounds. The, the patterns are nicely tied, they're nicely balanced, there's not too much material, they've got the proportions right. They're tied to last, um, we've caught lots of fish in these and they're still going. Uh, and it's things like it that really gets home to me is uh, the booby eyes. The booby eyes are absolutely perfect. Uh, I can't fault it. Can't fault it. So um, that's just a, a quick look at some of the fill and mill still water patterns, the ones that I've got. Um, they do a whole range from uh, blobs with, with beads on designed to fish under the bung right up to these great big sort of boobies here. Um, so uh, don't take my word for it. Have a wee look yourself and, and see what you think. But I don't think you'll be disappointed so um only remains for me to say thanks for watching take care and i'll hopefully see you at the water's edge